Hello everyone, it's me, Christina, and I am still going to do that Bible tea. Um, I think, yeah, well not I think, I know that I'm still going to do the Bible tea. I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to upload. Of course, today was Mother's Day, the weekends have been busy, getting stuff ready for Mother's Day. Um, and Job 10 is so good. Job 10 is just, is, is so good. Um, so I can't wait to talk about that. And I just wanted to talk about kind of like another little update, things that are happening, things that are going on in my life. Um, because I'm always transparent about stuff. If you hear meowing over there, that's Pika. She's in her, you know, crazy mood. So, um, where do I even start? So, I'm starting to feel so good, like, in my heart-wise. Um, like, my breathing and stuff-wise. My asthma is, is, you know, getting there. And, and then I'm just, I'm two weeks off sugar. Although, I did have a little tiny bit today for Mother's Day. Um, but for two weeks, I haven't really had sugar. Um, and I've been doing pretty good, and I feel good, like, I'm feeling better, like, in the energy-wise and stuff like that. But I've been noticing that, um, and I think this has been going on for a while, but I've really just been noticing it. I'm starting to have a lot of digestive problems, um, a lot of stomach ache and nausea and stuff like that. Like, to the point where I carry mints with me everywhere I go. So, um, I was talking with one of my very good friends. We've been friends for seven years, Pika. We've been friends for seven years. And I was having a conversation with her today, just out of the blue. Um, and she was talking about, you know, she's going through some health issues too. And she's going to start juicing. Juicing is so good for your body. It is so healthy for you. It is a way to give your digestive system a break, but it floods your body with all the nutrients that it craves. Um, the right kind of juice will totally replace your coffee. Totally. will give you the energy, but without the crash and without the sugar. Yes, it does take a lot of self-discipline to juice, and to live that lifestyle. But the benefits are so worth it. So I was just thinking about all of my different things that I have going on. So I have this YouTube. I have Glory Girls. Which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Um, on Facebook. And then on Instagram I have a regular Instagram. which are, Where I just share a mod podge of whatever. And then I have my new Instagram, which is um, Beauty with Integrity, where it's just like beauty stuff, uh, makeup, skin care, uh, inner, inner and outer beauty, kind of like what's in, like all of the fun stuff that I, I had initially wanted to share on this channel, but and I may still share from time to time on this channel. But this channel, I really feel like I want to do the more like Bible studies, Bible journaling. I want to, I want, I have so many little offshoots of stuff now that I really want to keep this channel just really Christ-centered, really study-centered. And so, really, and besides Jesus, which is, yeah, the most important, deciding what else is so important right now. What else do I really need to focus on right now? Hold on one second. Okay, sorry. I had to blow my ears. <clears throat> what is really important right now? So, I just started Beauty with Integrity. I started yesterday or today. Like, it's brand new. Brand new. I'm really excited about it, actually. And my friend had mentioned that she is 
um, doing Muslim health stuff and wanted to start um, juicing. Just like taking, instead of having lunch, having a juice and then having healthy snacks. Um, and so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this with you. We're going to do it together because I have a lot of information. I can help her, but also like, it's so nice when you are trying to be healthy and you're trying to like have diets that are like not difficult, not diets, but lifestyles that are, can be difficult to maintain, especially if you don't have a support group. So we were talking about like having a support group, like even if it was just me and her on this Facebook page, sharing recipes, sharing ideas, sharing encouragement, and then also making it a place for anybody else who's trying to get their health together, who may have serious health issues, um, or may just want to be healthier altogether. It's just really just the place um, to come there and like we'll talk about exercise for those with low mobility, like sitting in your chair exercises and then like, you know, exercising on your bike. Like so right now I feel I feel right now that is super important right now. Like I'm noticing I'm noticing problems. I already took myself off sugar. But I'm noticing the health problems. I'm seeing things going on and I want to nip it in the bud. So important. So I was like, okay, if I'm going to do this, then something else has to go. It's not going to be this channel. This It's not going to be this channel. It's not going to be my major Instagram. Um, since I kind of took an over overlook of everything that I'm doing right now. And what's kind of like the busiest and there's not a lot of people on Glory Girls right now. We started a book book club. Life gets busy. You know, all of us, I'm sure, who have started that book club, our lives are busy. We still want to read it. Um, and we still want to come back to it. But I also know summertime is a really super busy time. I'm going to talk about this on Glory Girls, too. Summertime is a super busy time. I'm sorry if I'm talking weird. I have a, a big ulcer like right here. And it's not going to be easy for everybody to be like, oh, I can do a book club, especially like with if you're a part of like vacations, you know, um, what's it called? Vacation, like Sunday school, you know, stuff like that. Um, and summer is a time of vacations and, and stuff like that. So I was just like, well, I'm definitely going to go back to it, but for now, I'm going to cut Glory Girls out because that's the least active right now. Um, I'm still going to keep this YouTube because this is where I share God. This is where I do Bible studies. Um, this is where I, sh I spill the Bible tea. This is where I'm going to be doing um, Bible like art journaling and stuff like that. Uh, and then, you know, of course, my main Instagram has to stay. This YouTube, my main Instagram has to stay. I just started my beauty Instagram. Um, and then I'm starting this one with my friend that is, you know, it's a private group. Um, just for people who are trying to get their health together. And, like, we are we are starting from, like, scratch. Like, my friend is starting from scratch. So, we want to say that, you know, if you are dealing with health issues or if you just want to be healthier, there, there are, I could talk forever about the health benefits to eating good. It's not just losing weight. It increases your metabolism, yes, but it also takes away fatigue it makes your skin healthier um it takes away brain fog okay this is not the place to talk about this but I'm that's one of my passions so i just wanted to like i really just spent time with all of the different things that i'm doing all the different things i'm a part of and really just spending time like okay I, <clears throat> okay god what's important don't let me get too crazy you know, doing all the things. 
now that like my heart's feeling better and I want to do all, I want to do all the things. Hold on, I gotta blow my nose one more time. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me sit you guys back up there. So I really spent my time and just saying, okay, what's important? What can I shed right now? You know, what's most likely going to be beneficial for people right now? Summertime is the time where people are all about wanting wanting to either lose the weight they put on in the wintertime or just feeling it's, for me, it has nothing to do with weight. And anybody, I think you should want to eat healthy first to feed your body the correct nutrients that it was made. Like, it's like, we are like vehicles, okay? Vehicles that run on, let's, okay, let's say you take a vehicle that runs on gas and you pump it full of diesel fuel. It may run, but there's it, lots of stuff's going to get wrong. You know what I'm saying? We're meant to have, we're meant to eat fruits and vegetables. We were never meant to eat. We were never meant to eat all this junk. We were never meant to consume as much junk food, as much MSG, um, you know, as much salt. As we're definitely not meant to to consume as much sugar um, as we do. We're not. We are meant to eat fruits and vegetables and the good thing, and then have the sweets and stuff as the cherry on top, as the extra. But us as Americans, we eat the junk, eat the junk, eat the junk, and then every now and then. We got we we got backwards. We got backwards. So I I said all this to say this channel isn't going anywhere. Um there's so many things I'm excited to share with you guys. So many like I'm already thinking after Job, what do we want to study? What do we want to read? Because for I mean I'm loving Job, but and I'm at a point in my life where I am really excited. I am just like, I'm not depressed right now. I just, it's like, I feel so excited to be alive right now because I feel like I'm finding my authentic self in Christ Jesus, in the bounds of Christ Jesus. I am finding my authentic self and have found you know, I feel my authentic self. And so now I'm so excited to express myself in all of these new ways. But at the same time, I want to keep it smart. I don't want to burn myself out because I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty. I'm so guilty of wanting to do everything. So basically what all of this is saying is I am going to put a halt to Glory Girls for the summer. And for the spring to the summer. Probably starting in August. Or sep probably in September actually. In September. Like when kids are back to school. That's when we'll pick back up. We'll pick back up with the book club. Um, and so. I will be putting all of my concentration. On this channel. My regular Instagram channel. My Beauty with Integrity Instagram channel. And the um, Sisters Living Fresh Facebook. Uh, if you want the link to the Sisters Living Fresh, please let me know. It's going to be, there's going to be lots of information. Lots of information about, like, this is where I get to nerd out on all my health stuff. I'm not going to beg anybody, push anybody. I'm just going to lay out the stuff. It's just going to be, it's not going to be filled with people who are super healthy and fit, you know, just trying to, to, to prove to other people you should be healthy and fit. It's going to be people who have health problems, people that maybe have low mobility, have to exercise in a chair, have to, you know, it, that's the kind of pace, but then there'll also be like, so 
I will have her, my friend, doing the little bit of mobility exercises in the chair. And then I will be doing them either on my bike or just, like, in place so that you can see the two different sides. And there's going to be lots of just encouragement, lots of just, like, there'll be some scriptures in there. Just lots of just sisters supporting sisters saying we can do this. I will eat better for my kids. For babies. I'm going to eat better so that I can be here longer for my husband. I want to have more energy. I want to feel good. I want to feel awake. I want to feel vibrant. I want to, I don't want to have brain fog anymore. All of those things. And as much as I'm a kind of person, and this has to do with, this has to do with who I am as a person. When I get interested in something, I am obsessed with it. So I'm so thankful that my greatest interest is God because I'm obsessed with God. I'm so, I'm just so obsessed with Jesus and that's the best obsession to have. But when I, when I am interested in something, I get obsessed with it and I need to know every little thing about it. So things that I'm interested in, I could tell you everything. Like I can tell you how to raise a turtle. I can tell you what to feed it. I can look at it shell and I can tell you what sex it is, probably what age it is, probably where it came from because I was super interested in turtles. I had to, I raised turtles. Same with cockatiels. I raised, co- raised cockatiels. But I'm saying that to say like I have all this knowledge about health in my head from taking care of my own health that this gives me and my friend the opportunity to, for free, share stuff that's going to, like... Because starting a health journey is hard. It's hard. Eating healthy stuff and feeding your body the stuff that you're supposed to have, it's hard. Because there's so much junk out there that you're not supposed to touch. It's not easy. It is not easy to maintain Trust you me. The only reason I maintain half of what I do is because I absolutely have to. But I, we just, we just wanted to create a safe place, a safe place that's private, where we can come together, we can learn about health together. Um, we will share links and things that will help each other. Share photos of the. Uh, Juices, because I'll be juicing again. My friend just got a juicer, too. So sharing uh, photos and recipes of our juices that we make. Um, and then, you know, doing just like a live video once a week or so. And just talking about, honestly, where we're at. Where we're at. How we're feeling. How we're dealing with it. And just being supportive of one another. So if this Facebook page turns out to be just me and her encouraging each other. Each other that's great but if other people come that need help that maybe you're dealing with health problems um or or just want to be more healthy we love to be there to just kind of be like okay let's do this together let's let's get healthy together getting healthy is the best gift you can give yourself your children your spouse the people that love you Taking care of the body that God gave you is one of the greatest things that you can do. And that doesn't just mean eating healthy or exercising, but it it means like taking a break when you need to take a break. Journaling, talking to somebody when you need to talk to somebody. It means, you know, yes, eat your veggies, drink your water, but also allow God to love you allow God to tell you who you are taking taking note of okay I need a break mentally right now I need a break and then and then allowing yourself to do to take that whatever you need self-care soul care is so important whether it be physical emotional mental spiritual taking care of ourselves it's like saying, God, thank you for this, this gift of life that you gave me. Now, I want to take care of the thing that you gave me. I want to take care of the blessing. Because every day is a blessing. Our life is a blessing. And I want to maintain the temple that he gave me. Okay, this was a long video. Um, 
as you can tell, I'm passionate. I, I am just a passionate person, and I have to stop apologizing for that. Um, I'm just passionate, and when I'm passionate about something, I am just like passionate, and I want to share it with people. Once again, that's why I'm so thankful that Jesus is my hugest obsession because I want to share him with people. So the video after this will be the Bible tea on Job. And then I want to do uh, some Bible journaling in my in my prayer journaling Bible. And I want to share that with you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm, I, I can't sleep. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. And I cannot sleep. Um, and so I've just been in my planners just like working out like the things like these are the type of videos I want to make here. These are the type of videos that I want to make here. Because we cannot go on vacation because of mine and my husband's health issues. I get to be here and and make this content um, for you guys. I just I just want to encourage you guys and literally if you guys get any enjoyment out of this, I probably get just as much. I so enjoy making these videos and sharing things and just I love trying to encourage other people because it also encourages me. Happy Mother's Day to all of the, my mothers and aunties and, you know, fur mummies. Us fur mummies are just as important to, you know, to any spiritual mothers out there. Just happy Mother's Day to all the women out there. God bless you. And I will be back tomorrow with that Bible tea on Job. And it's going to be good. It's going to be good. You don't want to miss this one. It's going to be good. Alright, God bless you guys.